All right, guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make the best DIY, waterproof, high quality, clickbaity words I could throw at you because this is the ultimate sticker tutorial. So stay locked in, you're going to enjoy this. All right, before we get into this, I just need to say that when I originally made this video, I made it for myself because I couldn't find any good sticker DIY resources online. So I made that video maybe about two years ago and I have the unfortunate pleasure of that video literally being my number one viewed video. I didn't think that would happen. It was just something that I wish I had. But since I've made that video, uh, I've gotten tons of feedback about the video and steps that I've missed, stuff that I didn't include and a general hate for a video that I thought was pretty good, but hey, that's the internet. <laughs> With that being said, I'm just, I don't wanna make this a long video. Let's just get into it. I'm gonna show you the best way to make stickers at home for your brand, for your business, for your company without breaking the bank. And um, don't worry, I have a lot more of improvements and new tweaks that I think brings this whole tutorial to the next level. And honestly, after this one, I'm never doing this again. So please don't ask. You're welcome, I love you. All right, let's get into it. All right, guys, the most important step of this entire video is getting the right sticker paper. It needs to be weatherproof, waterproof, and have some ultimate stick potential, right? So this is the best paper I've managed to find online. It's super cheap, and I'm actually gonna recommend you get the gloss paper, not the matte paper, unless you want that effect, of course. But the gloss is actually 10 bucks cheaper for the 100 pack. Uh, it's a little bit thicker, and it actually looks more professional, in my opinion. Uh, my buddy bought some, and I actually like the way it looked more than the mat so highly recommend the gloss um get the mat if you want that style but you can get the link for both of these in the description below save yourself some time and help your boy out that'd be great uh in the last video i did recommend laminating these things but i think it's actually pretty stupid and the gloss actually completely uh makes that step irrelevant so don't even worry about all of that these labels are also perfect because you can get them for an inkjet printer which is what probably 99 percent of people have in their house or at kinko's which is a step we're going to talk about later all right so this next part is the part i left out in the old video and it's actually laying out your stickers and how to get them ready to be printed i'm not going to show you how to make a sticker design it could literally be anything but i'm going to show you just a quick and easy way to lay it out so you can get ready to print at home or you can get ready to print at kinko's so go in and get your sticker design drag and drop it into word I'm making some for that's the angle and before you copy and stuff just click it double click it go to wrap text and go to tight and just make it smaller you're gonna want to tile it out all right so you're gonna want to go ahead and lay your sticker out uh, you can select multiple with shift and then you can hold option or I think maybe control and windows to quickly copy it be a little careful with the top and bottom margins I don't really think it matters that much but I did mess up the some stickers uh, getting too close to the bottom there. All right, so that's one sheet. And as you can see, I have it laid out that looks ready to go. So what we're gonna do is save that and put stickers. Uh, you can actually save it as a PDF. You don't need to save it as a JPEG, just save it as PDF and you'll be fine. Um, and so once you save it as that, hit enter, boom. Now all you have to do is print it. I recommend trying your home printer first, seeing how you like the color and the quality. Uh, if you're happy with it, then hell yeah, more power to you. All you gotta do is cut them out. But then if you're not, like you were like I am, go to FedEx or Kinko's and make sure you put your PDF on a little thumb drive, a simple thumb drive like this because you have to use their uh, little machine. And so you're gonna wanna go there, put it in the machine, put your card in, uh, put your sticker paper in the Kinko's uh, copying machine and just print it. It's like 69 cents a sheet. Really not that bad considering how much uh, ordering online is. Now that you have your beautiful stickers all laid out on a nice piece of sticker paper ready to slap everywhere, this part is really important. You're gonna wanna cut a slit onto the back of the sticker paper. So you can either do the whole paper and just do like an X on the back with a little straight razor or you could do the individual stickers and just put it somewhere hard and just run it across the back you'll figure it out after the first or second sticker but trust me this will save you a lot of time and a lot of frustration when you're out and trying to be stealthy on the streets well guys that's it that is the ultimate sticker diy guide i promise these will be the best stickers you can make at home you can always order them from somewhere but you know that takes time and a little bit more money when all you need is a little bit more effort so like i said if you want the sticker paper get it in the link below help your boy out and i am never making another DIY thing again because I do not want my channel known for that.
but it helps. So please check out the other content like my interviews or my photography related content if you enjoyed this.